All right, and we're back in the attic. Yes, we are back in the attic. I know the right. intro said Charlie's here. It was a lie. He's not. Who? It's constantly going. Charlie. Lie. Life happened. Not Charlie not birth who? though. His girlfriend almost died or something. What happened? Oh, you heard heard. Are we gonna we gonna talk about this? Yeah, on let's the get attic? into it. No. When Nobody I, cares. No one cares. I care. This All is right. people's personal lives. We're not That's the most interesting lives. part. Yeah, shut up. Look at the Kate Upton video. Shut up. That was really personal. <laughs> and I was into it. You were? Did you like it? I, I liked it. I don't so, know how you didn't like it. What's the What's the YouTube for, for it? The YouTube? Yeah, it's on YouTube. I don't know. Just Google it. On Kate, YouTube. Just Google Kate Upton. Google it. and You'll you, find I'm, it. You know, I've started calling searching for things Googling. I don't say search. Oh, like you Google it in YouTube. I don't know. So you've joined the uh, the rest of the world. Yeah. Right. Hey, Those there's a few people, people out there. Bing it. <laughs> no, Bing no, it. people who don't understand how the internet works, just Google it. Google it. When I can't find my keys, Google it. <laughs> Google. That that's gonna be an app out there one day. I'm Googling my keys right now. I don't know where they are. I Googled my car in the parking lot. I'm just gonna eliminate the word search and replace it with Google. It's in the Webster a dictionary. Google. It's googly moogly. <laughs> Great googly moogly. All right, that's, that's all right, good. Danny. All right. What, what are we, Danny? Talking what are we talking today, about? Tonight, all right, Danny? so tonight on the forty-fifth episode of the Attic Podcast, we're going to be discussing the Ghost of Harrenhal episode of Game of Thrones. Spoilers ahead on that one. We'll also be talking about mm, uh, Legend spoilers. of Korra, the fourth episode. You mean Legend of Bora? Spirit of Competition. Yeah, uh, you threw it out right there. Uh, I wanted to get work, it out. I he's wanted, been I working on this Legend was, of Bora, like all freaking like set up for this whole thing, was, and, and he throws it out like over Danny talking about it. <laughs> That was like the I didn't war, that, was, that was a segue piece. I was like, "All right, we're gonna talk about Legend of Boar now." I, 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 and you, you, you I fucking, didn't want to forget. It all I was up. nervous. You it all I was. Up. Th- I thought I was gonna forget. You, you, fu- you thought you were gonna forget. <laughs> that's all he's been talking about. Was doing Legend of Boar. Exactly. That's how it works. The more you talk about it, the more likely uh, you are to I can't, forget. I'm when disappointed. I'm sh- surely disappointed Legend of with Boar. you. Enjoy it though. People right. laugh at that. What else? Take we got? time to laugh at that right now. All right. Ha ha ha. All right, we're all going to so be talking about the second episode of season two of Young Justice Invasion. So we're going to be talking about that real quick. Uh, and then that will bring us on to the main event, which everybody in the known world saw. This podcast. Marvel's Avengers. Oh, yeah. I want to talk about that. Yeah. We really went in a direction I'm uncomfortable with with this podcast. But Why? Write us a comment if you don't like all the TV talk. Yeah. If somebody, please, for my sake, write a comment. Don't worry. I'm buying. Oh, Fringe is actually on sale at Best Buy. Oh. Blu-ray. So I'm going to buy those three seasons. Oh. 20 bucks each. So we're gonna, today we're going to talk about <laughs> an episode Fringe. of Fringe that came out in 2006. I'm excited for that talk. It got renewed for the fifth and final season, 13 episodes, so. Wow. They're going to end that. They're Cheers. on the fringe Cheers, of getting Danny. canceled. Get that? Danny's enjoying a fine cup of green tea right He's now. Having yes. tea. It's very tea. He's having a coffee. A spot of tea. A spot Maybe of a tea. Did you love that slurp you just heard <laughs> from Danny Mon? <laughs> Danny it's stuck in my beard. Coming Inter- at him. Interpret the slurps as you will. God, can, we, can we get a good one on the mic? Uh, uh, yeah. Danny, Danny, no teeth. <laughs> No teeth, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Game of Thrones. Ghost of Harrenhal. So Ghost of Harrenhal. We find out what's up with the shadow wait, monster. Wait, wait, hold on. Smoke monster. Did you watch it, Tim Sandy? I saw it. No, you didn't. Shadow of Harrenhal. This guy's a liar. Guys. Lies. What did you think of it? I thought it was a good episode. They really, uh, they they bookend it with two separate incidents of someone getting murdered by mm-hmm. someone, which was pretty nice. Wow. I always like good, when something squished in between. I like a, I love a good book yeah. ending. And nothing nothing says television like murder. People love murder. Mm, so murder. Uh, were you surprised that Renly died though? I like the, the way he, I, like, I like the way he died. Yeah, and then uh Brienne of Tarth starts just laying waste to the knights yeah. to come into. Yeah. Cuz like this guy dies, Renly. Who's, it's like this ghost like the shadow monster. Thing. Shadow monster. Smoke yeah. monster. Smoke monster. If you oh yeah. yeah, this is the one that came out of the girl's crawl. right, right. Yeah, his crawl. <laughs> <laughs> crawfish. His mm-hmm. crawl. Cra- oh, cra- crawfish in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, all right, so, yeah, so this, this is the one that came out of the it. The woman creeps out some smoke or whatever. Yeah, and the, out of the craw and out of the craw. And so the guy, shadow monster, ended up killing this dude. 
they, this other guy who's going to be how's king. How does it kill him if it's just, what did it give him, like, it chronic it's like a, yeah, and stab, no, like killed him stabs all the time. him with a, with a shadow sword. Yeah. Right, oh, a shadow sword. Right through yeah. the heart. And he just dies. And then, like, they really? think it was his, like, his guardian. Who, yeah, who his, well, he had, like, a bunch of knights who are, like, his, like, sworn protectors. And so they all blame it on this Brianna Tarth there. And then, uh. Stark's mother was there and saw it, so everyone's all confused about yeah, what's going on. Yeah, what's her name? Cat? Catelyn Tully. Cat well, Catelyn Stark, but she used Kitty to be Cat. of House Tully. They call her that in the show? Cat? Pussy Cat? They no, they, no, they, no, they no. call her Cat, no pussy though. talk. No. Yeah. Ah. no, but anyway, so she was trying to form an alliance between Renly and Rob Stark in the North, but now since Renly's gone, there's no alliance there, and all of Renly's people are pretty much flocking over to... Uh, the Stark. No, they're flocking over to uh, his brother Stannis now. Yes, sorry. Yes, well, little do they know, Stannis has a lot in planned, right? He does. Yes, yeah, Stannis People. has a lot in planned. No, but I don't know. another I don't interesting thing they bring up is Marjorie and like the fact that they're a very powerful house of Tyrell, and so they got a lot of money. So they're definitely not going to Stannis because Stannis can offer them power for Marjorie, which what she's looking for, and vengeance. He can't get with Stannis because Stannis is the one who killed vengeance. Is is lover. So, oh, so where's she gonna go? You think going to well, where else can you go for vengeance? Rob? No. The Lannisters? Yes. She's gonna go to the Lannisters. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't want to say that. No, no, yeah, no, he no, no. Spoilers right there. Thanks a lot, Danny. Thanks. I'm just saying, she was talking to, uh, what's his yeah, face? Yeah, finger over there. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody nobody cares about Rob because he's just... Yeah, my I, favorite I care about Rob. Rob. Rob just has the North, and he doesn't really have the money. There's he no doesn't money have a sweet north. name. His name's just Rob. Rob Stark. That's that's a pretty Rob cool name. With two B's. Aren't they all called two like legal ass and like all shit like that? Le- legal ass? <laughs> legal ass. Legal Proto. ass. Little finger. Ever gone. So you, so you, he, she's going to go over to the Lannisters, huh? I don't know. She could go. There's other people amongst the kingdom who could show up. Yeah, but so if she goes to the, if she them. goes to the Lannisters, like how like is she going to be like marry someone else or Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Mm-hmm. All right, no. what, what's your prediction? Even though you I know. can't predict, can't predict because how knows. are you asking me to predict? Because I just want him to tell me. I'm gonna whack you in the head with no. a two by. Who knows four. what could happen? So but uh, that's, they, that's the, king, the king did that in the episode before. They have two by fours in the past. Not really, but they're be beating up bitches with sticks. Yeah, the piece of wood beating bitches with sticks. All right, so then and then we also get an update with Arya, who makes the guy she freed a couple episodes ago makes her like a deal since she yeah freed, that was interesting yeah she freed three guys so now uh she he, gets to, he killed three guys yep so he took off the guy who was doing the rat torturing she got him oh off so. what do they call him the tickler yeah yeah the tickler, tickler. the tickler <laughs> yeah because he tickles you and yeah. then you spill your guts yeah. literally sweet. Yeah, I don't. He's not literally taking you the rats. You know they uh, they did that in Fast and the Furious too. Really, they did, they did that. With, I don't think it was. Th- I don't think it was two. They though. did that. No, in that two. They was did that two? in the Nicolas Cage no, movie with they, bees. <laughs> do the bees? Why the bees? Not the bees. No, no, not <laughs> the we, bees. Can we put that on our website? What? Not the bees? Yeah, yeah not the, the Nicolas Cage. Thing. What is that? Is that what, the Wicker Man or the, the Witcher or something? The Witcher. What movie is this from? It's a Nicolas Cage movie. They put like a. Like a little cage full of bees, and they put it on his head. Really, I don't and know. I don't know if him, and he's just yelling. <laughs> is it is it a out. young Nick Cage? No, uh, no, it's not too. It's like a it's few, relative, couple of years ago or something. I don't, I don't know if I've seen that movie. Bees. Nick Cage yeah. doesn't like bees. Is it's not? It's not like Ghost Rider, is it? That yeah, it's on. It might be Ghost hard. Rider. Is it really? I think really? that's how he, they just no, stung him so Rider. much that it it went right down to his skull. Is that how he became it? Yeah, yeah that's and it. then the burning sensation, f- flame. You know, wouldn't that kill the bees then? Yeah, exactly. uh, well, they're that's demon bees, they get, obviously. Yeah. Well, there's no bees around him right now, and he's Ghost Rider, so yeah, the bees are dead. Uh-huh. I like how you've made this imaginary universe of bees and I'm very Ghost imaginative. Riders. I have a child coming. So it's interesting, though. Arya's getting a lot of insider information. Yeah, doing her of, new a job. Of, a lot of intel, well, you know. 
good inside intel. trading. Oh yeah, the one scene where where Tywin asks her about Rob Stark and like what they're saying up north and stuff about him, and she's like saying all these like great things about the the myth and legends about Rob Stark yeah. and stuff, and then he's like, yeah, but can he? Do you think he's uh, invulnerable or whatever? And she's yeah, like, it just cuts to her face, and she's just like, no, everybody can die. Just like wow. Stone Cold just drops it. Everyone Stone Cold dropping the hammer down. You heard it. And I love Gauntlet. how I love how Tywin like sort of his face look is kind of like he's not like happy about it that she's saying that Rob can die because he knows that she's saying Rob can also kill him. He's not invulnerable too. Right, so right, right. Wow. There's that duality of what they're saying. Yeah. It's crazy. Duality. You have to man. really read between the lines to catch all that. Yeah, yeah. It's yep. Subtle acting by the guy who plays Tywin. He's very, <coughs> yeah. very good. He's good. He's good. I think, I mean, everyone's good in the show, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's one of the best actor everyone. shows. Is that no. one Who, Who's bad? Who's bad? Um, Little, Little Finger? Legolas. Legolas. <laughs> Is he saying? Are you saying Lego? Legolas or Legolas? Legolas. Lego? You don't know Legolas? He's a uh, he's a Lego, but he's a girl Lego. I don't know. Is that is that what you're saying? That's <laughs> Legos for girls. Lego one of the pink, one of the pink ones. Yeah, she's the most famous Lego building girl. Legolas. Mm. She, mm. It's like a superhero. Legolas. <laughs> no, no. It's a guy like that it's shoots like arrows lasso. and uh. They should use a lasso. <laughs> a lasso. Yeah. Lasso. It's a alt. It's Lego, a Japanese Lego name lasso. for uh, Wonder Woman. So, all right, uh, <laughs> all right. So she, she uses a lasso, right? Yeah, yeah that's a nerd joke. She These does. Guys aren't nerdy enough to get she it. She does use a lasso, and you tell the truth when it goes tell around the her. Truth. That's a terrible, because that's if a you didn't know, trick. I thought it was a no. whip, though, not a lasso. No, it's a lasso. A whip. She whips people, and they, <laughs> but they keep whipping you till you tell the truth. No, but do you know what that is? The guy who invented the polygraph is actually the guy who created Wonder Woman. Really, yeah. that is a. St- Terrible fact. Why? I don't care. Do how is that terrible? That's kind of interesting. I don't care about that. Why would the guy who... How did the guy invented the polygraph is in draw, drawing Wonder Woman with a No, he's whip? not drawing. He wrote Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah, but, you know. Draw, he drew it with the polygraph. Yeah, but it was his idea probably for the, the truth whip. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Up. Yeah, it definitely was. Oh, so they were intertwined. Mm. That's yeah, interesting. Because he was into female bondage and stuff. He was? Yeah, because he, God, him and his wife. You, what do you, you know? like? Research this Everybody guy? knows this. Mm. Like <laughs> him, and, paper on him. him and his wife actually had another woman who were they like almost knowledge. married to, who was part of the relationship, and then so both him and his wife like bondage. Yeah, yeah like the the girl. So they had, Which a, one they had an they? open marriage with this were they, one girl. Were they the saddest or the uh, what's the other one? Sadist. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what was, it is. Did they like? Did, did there, they like being tied up, or they, did they like doing the time? Well, well, in the early Wonder Woman stories, a lot it's of them have to do with her being tied up or tying other people up. Mm, gonna That's have to go back and read those. About that. Yeah, gonna have to go back and read those. But anyway, Man. so Game of Thrones Game continue, of Thrones. continues to truck on. Right, <laughs> <We> <laughs> they haven't canceled it yet. In case you're wondering, it's no. doing well in the ratings, so oh, we might get the end. Maybe they'll make another season. Are they gonna so, see the big question is, are they gonna change the name when the when it goes on? Are they gonna call it Game of Thrones even though it's Flock of Seagulls or whatever the next book is? Flock yeah, of yeah, it's still being called Game of Thrones. Because this second season is Clash of Kings, but they still call it Game of Thrones. So each season is one book? Except for three, they're most likely gonna cut it into two two, 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 two different seasons. I hate when they drag things out like the Harry Potter. Harry Potter three part two. You mean Harry Potter seven part one and two? Oh, well, whatever. I don't. Know. I don't know how many Harry Potter. Did you there. even watch it? I saw the first one. I really liked part one of seven. I've I've never seen. It. Like I've only two. seen like Harry Potter two and parts of it. And that's <laughs> it. Decided to start on two. Just start on two. My mom was watching too, and I was like, ah, I could sit for this for a minute. Oh, look, they're British kids at a boarding school. This is boring. Ah, I'm going upstairs. True. I'd rather watch the boarding Little schools Lang. are notoriously boring. So, what what do you think about them going, you know, up on in the north over the wall, ranging over there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, there's some cool stuff. That's I think that's where the action, like the actual like battles and death, Shit's is going to happen there. there. Yeah, that's going to be a good season. fight. Yeah, because they're they're fighting zombie things, so it's gonna be zombies. a lot of eeriness. Wow. Well, pretty much zombies. What undead? are they called? The White Walkers. Yeah. Are they undead? Yeah. Or are yeah. they? Don't, we don't things. really know. We another, don't know too much about world. Well, they 
they're just locked behind the wall and like lands of perpetual winter and such and all types of it's flowery really, it's ways winter there all, that. The, all the time nothing but winter so what do you think of um uh, what the fuck's the blonde chick Kate Upton what are you talking about the no one who just went into the new that kingdom Oh, Daenerys. Daenerys. Yeah, she just went across into the, the city of Korth, and the guy like offered her a chance to like marry him. Yeah, what, what's what's up with that? I don't understand that. Like, why does he does he want to marry her just because she's got the dragons? Well, he wants to marry her because he knows that she'll probably she'll probably be a uh, a force to qu- reckon with. Yeah, and queen of the Seven Kingdoms eventually, because that's her goal. And like, since they're the Seven Kingdoms right now are in such disarray, they could easily walk in there and take control, and then you know continue the targaryen line and he can have his prodigy well, prodigy thank, thank god the targaryen prodigy. line is going to be continued yes yeah. but she just, she's not going to take him up on the offer i don't know who knows yeah doesn't look that way probably yeah. not no but she did realize that jorah sort of has like romantic feelings with her you can sort of tell that because he's like giving her like bad advice telling her no, don't side with this guy. We can just go by ourselves, you and me, and do this. You think that's ship. bad advice? Yeah, it's bad advice. I mean, I don't go over there with advice. like one ship. You know, you got to go in there with an army of two. I yeah, but the way he said it, though, go you're going to go over there and get you know people from your homeland. Yeah, but I feel like since the kingdoms are such a mess, that she could easily walk in there and people would like flock to her. Anyways, yeah, there's a lot of Cause, flocking cause, in this because uh, I mean, there there are other houses who were with the Targaryens when that civil war happened, so those houses would most likely come back to the Targaryens. That's like an alien race, the Targaryens. <laughs> yeah. So you think so? You think it's a bad idea going on one boat? Yeah, I think it's a better idea to marry this guy, come in there with a bunch of ships. Yeah, but like that's how said, you would do it, Danny. Yeah, but that's like you say, but he's gonna have to repay them in some way. Yeah, by marriage. Yeah. Marriage is like a fee. Yeah, but then marriage like, is a fee in the middle. Yeah, but ages. technically, then he would like eventually, like you know, she takes over the, the you know the iron cr- uh, chair there. Yeah, you know, he would be king then, so she would be like kind of behind the pictures again. Yeah, to a degree. It. I mean, she'd still have a lot of power. Yeah, but you don't know, like it's queen. W- what he? I mean, she he. She doesn't. You're right. You're right. Him. She she doesn't know him, you're and right. she doesn't know like once they get to that point, you know, he can be like, get the fuck out. Yeah, just like hide her in a tower. And yeah, just like like Rapunzel. Yeah, Reputa. Yeah. Reputa the, the Buddha. Reputa. Yep. So a lot of di- different things happen in there, but it continues to be a really good show. No, yeah, it was really. Let's incredible. get on to our Legend of Korra. Yep. All right. Yeah, wait. To the talk spirit about of this. competition. I really so, just want to flush just all go this right crap out. Right yeah. Away. Well, right. So you, you want to talk about Avengers? I want to talk about Avengers. I saw it. Let's talk about that, Avengers. That's not the crap to this. All right, no, but so Legend of Korra, let's get on to it. What do you think of the episode? I thought it was good. A little bit more. A lot of, lot of romance on this episode. Yeah, I felt it's like, like the, a, It's like a huge, like, quadrangle of, like, romance what? going over here. I don't know. I'm just making up quadrangle. shapes right now. I'm making up so, shapes. It's like a hedra four, of... Four shapes. No, but, like, so... Like, there's sort of romance going on right now, and they're fighting in this tournament for like pro benders but there's like so Cora was like really interested in Mako and Mako's with this other girl and it's very Reason. soap opery there's a lot of mel- melodrama going here and then Bolin's interested in in Cora so you guys are watching like a, a soap opera cartoon for children yeah it's not for children though no it's for it's definitely it's for teens for children it's for teens Young, it's a well written show. Young adults. I don't. I didn't think it's this well realized sh- characters. I didn't think this show was that. I didn't like. I didn't, this episode was okay in my book. It wasn't great like the other ones. Good. No, I th- I found it interesting. You know, I, you end up you care about what happens to these characters. You do and who care they, about who it, they end up with. I I had one flaw with it though. All right, so Cora is our main character, pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we do spend some time with Mako and Bolin, but it's basically Cora. So that kind of puts the character that Mako is dating right now, Asami, in like a bad space because we have we don't really know who she is, so mm-hmm. we can't really judge if Mako's making the right decision by staying with her because we're obviously rooting for <laughs> Korra and Mako to get together Whoa, or or I don't, Bolin, I don't or know. Bo- yeah, Korra I'm and not, Bolin maybe. I'm not. Re- I don't. I'm not. A really. fun couple. Yeah, I'm. I'm rooting for them. I'm not ready. Bolin. 
Bowling. Tired of names. Bad names and stuff. Bad names. Bowling. I don't mean, I don't, why wouldn't Cora go with... Well, Bolin's nice and everything. He's I funny. Like Bolin, he's yeah. funny, but you know he's goofy though. Yeah, he's 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 fun to be around. But Mako, you know, he's got the the is brooding. That who, is the that brooding who, is that who you want you Cora know? with? With Mako? I, no, I Cora can take both of them. Cora doesn't wow, need wow both Cora, of them. Cora doesn't need whoa. a man though. Is what I'm you saying. Just, you want to have two guys? Yeah, that's that's illegal. Yeah, whoa, that's Dude, crossing a line back and then Republic City, man. It's uh, anything goes. I think it seems like cross on a line. Yeah. But anyway, so that messes up the tournament. Like that, their 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 fight. Sister wives. <laughs> Sister wives. Yeah. Sister so anyways, husbands. so their romance problems like upsets the tournament, and they almost lose. But then Core is like, yeah, kicking butt on the. Uh, that was pretty cool tournament. though. At yeah, the end. She, she was by butt. herself and ended up saving their their spot in the tournament just by how good she was water bending. Wow, which is pretty sweet. All right, let's talk Pretty about awesome. uh, Justice Squad. All right, no, we're not done yet. All right, stop <laughs> fucking pushing the shit along. I'm not. I thought you were done. It stop pushing yourself it. done. All right. Go Jesus ahead. Christ. Oh, Pabu is awesome. Go though. on with your boar, Phil. Hold on, hold on. Pabu, the the little fire ferret that Bolin has, is awesome because he's just like he's just like washing it. Like he's like got him in like a bowl to clean him. He's like, you gotta look nice, Pabu, for your new uniform. Bolin. And he's just like talking to Pabu, and it's yeah. funny. I like the part though when Bo- uh, Cora and Borland, Bo- uh, Bolin, see, Bolin, see what these names know, do to you. I know. Why out, can't they be named Dave and Bob and out eating, it's boring. Out eating uh, the noodles there, and the other, um, the other bending guy team. from the bending team shows up. Yeah, and yeah. in, in, uh, Naga. Yeah, Naga comes ba- uh, bashing through the window and just roars. Yeah, and the guy's just, just like, ah! yeah, I like that Ooh. part. Yeah. They do that because they're Chinese, and then they. They're not, Oh, oh. oh. You, you sound like an owl. I'm done. That's how they talk. That does that. not sound like an owl. Yeah, all right. Yeah, owls. <laughs> but no, I, th- I thought I mean, it was an okay episode, though. I, it wasn't one of my favorites. It's definitely a break from the the main like. I mean, what happened? Like, story yeah, what happened with on? that? What was going on with that? You know, there's not war every day. They didn't hit on it at all. Like the war guy's still out there. Never changes. No, they were talk. They were talking about how Cora wasn't really working with the task force that much that week. So they yeah, mentioned it. I don't know. It was just a couple days. Uh, you know. You know. Uh, she's got off time you can't always be fighting uh, the war always she's the avatar she's always fighting war is always going on war never changes except on holiday i said that already i like the advice though that tenzin's kids gave core oh the one yeah the one girl was like well love is like ponies and flowers and something and myspace.com yeah yeah and then the other girl was just like yeah these two people loved each other and they were in separate villages and one of them died so then the person threw themselves in the volcano it was very nice the pony died no the lover god god no, sandy was, you ruin everything you just say dumb things. Yo, you are like, i had to entertain hey you guys are the ones who like hey come on over we're doing a podcast obviously i'm unnecessary all right, all right so that's another episode of core which which yeah. I'm definitely enjoying. Definitely, at, at, at least the uh, the pro bending thing was pretty awesome. It was that that part was cool. I prefer I, amateur bending. They do. I I I really do think though those episodes should be an hour. Oh yeah, it's or, too long or, of a wait. At Not least really or double them up or do two half hour episodes or something. Just put them all so, together. That's what I just, just want to watch them all to just decay our children's like, minds. It's like for an hour. it's just like I feel like they could have done a little bit more with the pro bending because they could have stretched it out. Because they bang through some of those matches pretty damn quick. Yeah, but I'm more interested in where the characters are going than like who's dating who. Watching. Yeah, but I'm just saying over overall, <laughs> overall, I think it could be better. It's like Dawson's Creek on the show. <laughs> you need some melodrama, you know. That's why Peter Parker works as a uh, comic book character. You're always interested in his social life, who he's dating, and we stuff. saw a trailer for the new Peter Parker movie. Yeah, we did the new trailer in front of the Avengers, but we'll get to that. Yeah, eventually. we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll have to get there quick. We'll get there. All, All right. right, Justice Teen yeah, Girl Squad Justice. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Teen Girl Squad with so and so, the ugly one, and what's her face? Yeah. Did you like that, Danny? Good. Good. Um, from what I saw, Teen Girl um, Squad. No, I didn't. I didn't really like. You didn't it. like it. It's too much. Um, you commented cartoons. at the end of the episode where like Miss Martian's like finds out what happened like 
five years ago when the Justice League went missing for well, members of the Justice League went missing for sixteen hours and they didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, she looked like she uh she had an intense look on her face. Well, yeah, because I think she pretty much caused a Croatian guy. She pretty much like made him brain dead by just like going and probing his mind. Really? Yeah. So it's yeah, getting I mean, a little dark with Miss Martian right now. You think so? Oh. Yeah. Mm. This, this this children's cartoon is going to a dark place. It is. It, it is. is you know? It's scary out there. It's a mad they, world. We, we learned some more about what happened to Beast Boy's mom. She apparently died by Queen Bee, who's like she runs a country in like africa or something and they fought a little bit so apparently queen Bee blood killed, diamonds probably killed blood garfield diamonds. logan's <laughs> mother beast boy getting really serious getting serious so so how was this episode they're, they're on ran with adam strange and stuff how is this episode with uh like since you've never seen the first like uh season, season how, how'd you feel about this episode um i liked it i thought the last week's episode was a little bit better yeah, yeah, I did too. It was nice when uh, so Adam Strange is like a scientist guy, and, and he ends up on this planet. So then, like the the police on that planet are like looking for him. So he starts like spouting lines from uh, Alice in Wonderland to confuse him, and just goes running off. And, and like have people catch it's him. Like copyright. Yeah, that's fair use. Alice in Wonderland. It's just funny. It's just funny. Like he's quoting the entire so Jabberwocky. Like, the like thing. hey. Uh, who Beware the bandersnatch. Well, who blah, blah, blah. are you? I'm late, I'm late, and runs off. It was yeah. cool, though. It was funny. Yeah. I mean, this show, the, uh, it was really action-heavy, this episode. Not a lot yeah. of character stuff. But I feel like that happens a lot in this show. There's a lot of big action set pieces and stuff. But it's still, it's still pretty cool, because, you know, you get Beast Boy. Beast Boy, I love. Yeah, it's Beast awesome. Boy, he's good. I like it, him. I'm He's really getting comic tired relief. of them. They're using them a lot. Every scene I see has Beast Boy in it. That's because there's only like three characters from the regular Young Justice. And when's he going to grow up and be a Beast Man? It's a good question. He, he'll just be Beast. He'll be blue. Beast. Beast. Yeah. yeah little do you know, this is the start of Beast. I mean, it's definitely, I, I, really enjoy, I really enjoy the series, though. Yeah, so you're going to keep watching it probably, right? Probably, yeah. yeah. Actually, I set my TiVo up today to record it. Ah, nice. nice. Yeah. TiVo. TiVo. And I move. I had to move. I had to watch Legend of Korra on my laptop again because it's going to record it tonight at 8. Really? Yeah, That's it weird. keeps conflicting with something, so I have to. I moved it up to number one on the list. Well, it goes on on demand, I think, by like Monday or whatever. I no, know. I just looked on it. They don't even have the last two episodes on it. Are you sure? I yeah. just What's looked. the last one? Revelation? Yeah. Oh, well, the last one's on Nick.com, if anybody cares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it on there. I went there first. Nick.com. Nick.com. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. I like how there's, there's commercials, too, if you watch it on Nick.com. Of course. Oh, they put the commercials in. No, Only for yeah. commercials. There's different commercials. It's one thing. It's like Victoria. It's like Justice. when you go to Hulu or something. Yeah. Hulu. Hulu. Hey. Alec Baldwin, right? Doesn't he, isn't he the spokesman? Sometimes for this, a couple of those commercials. All right, so that's Young Justice. So big revelations coming next episode, most likely. Why are we going to happen? We're going to find out what happened in those missing sixteen hours. What the? Uh, What's your prediction for the missing sixteen hours? I have no idea. I don't know what. You the, don't have a clue. I don't know you what have, the light you don't is have the planning, slightest man. idea. No, not really. Come on. Guess. No, they're working on something for space travel. You have to guess. They're, they're worried about. Probably the guys on Apocalypse, I guess. Guys on Apocalypse? Yeah, because there's one episode they had the Forever People, which are people from New Genesis, and they're like always at war with Apocalypse. Why are they called Forever Darkside. People? I don't know, because they live for a long forever? time. They're like gods almost. Oh. Gods. They're all like gods. Yeah, man. Jack Kirby created them, man. Hey, if anyone has a place where I can watch the season one episodes, please leave it in the comments. Yeah. Because I can't find them. Leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. All right. I guess we're going to get to the, the main topic. I mean, if we get to your comment, that is. I, we have a lot of comments yeah. to shift through. Oh, yes. yeah. International comments and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. We're blowing up. We are. I'm leaving cards blowing everywhere. Um, we're literally going to blow this podcast up because it's not not landing, really. It's not landing? For a lot of people. All right, Avengers. not be resonating with them. Avengers. Go, Danny. All right. Well, it's the Avengers. 
the Avengers is the team up of all the other heroes they've been building in the past Marvel movies. So we got Iron Man, yep. Incredible Hulk, now yep. played by Mark Ruffalo, who I, I know like he, I knew you liked a lot better than I like him. Ed Norton. It's, it's not very soothing you, as as Bruce Banner. Like he's it's like Oh yeah, that guy does seem pretty calm. Seems pretty in control and he also seems very like smart scientist guy yes. like very wrapped in his own world because he's he's kind of like flinching a little bit all the time he's like you know like he definitely i don't seems think more nerdy. i like edward norton norton at all but i don't know if he could have played it as well no yeah. i don't think he would have been as good i don't I, I like edward norton is fantastic and amazing actor but i just think he's Ruffalo not great does he's better. not a great bruce banner really no like he doesn't seem like w- wicked smart he seems just like wicked 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 smart yeah, but Ruffalo definitely nails like the whole Bruce Banner vibe better than a lot of people. Yeah, that yeah. we've had because we've had a lot of people play. We have. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tons. too many. All right. So what else Wolf we got? Rick what else is it about? All right. So then we also have you know like uh, Thor, Hawk Boy. Thor, and uh, Captain America showing up. So Captain America is kind of he's he's a big part of the story. Just him being you think? like yeah. He's I don't think really, he's really a big he's part. For moral he's just kind of he's kind of like. just tells everyone what to do. Yeah, like, no, right, but no, but I mean, like a captain. They they start the movie pretty much by Shield recruits Captain America to like get on the helicarrier and like help people out. I don't see Captain America. I see him as the least involved superhero of the of the, of the dude. Captain names. America is like the heart and soul of the Avengers. Yeah. Right? But not in this movie. Like, uh, first of all, you Iron Man so? was probably the most important part. He did fucking everything in this movie. No, no what did he do? Iron Man he was flew, not. He control. was yeah, he controlling the whole, around. the whole fight. And like, Dude, without the Hulk, they wouldn't have been able to beat back these Stark guys. Dark Tower was like one of the main. I uh, agree. I agree. The Hulk's a major part, but we were arguing Captain's role here, not the Hulk's role. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. If you're saying he was saying Iron Man was a huge part of it, I'm saying the Hulk had more important part in the battle than Iron Man. Yeah, so it probably goes Hulk, Iron Man. No, Captain America is the heart and soul of the Avengers, man. I agree. No I agree Avengers. the heart and soul, but in this movie, like that. he played like uh, like for moral support and stuff. No, he was the, he was in charge. He was telling people mm, what to do. Nah. I don't know. He just seemed he seemed out of his like. He had the least to offer, like the squad, just like really? oh, even over Black Widow, he's just like oh, Black Widow, was, uh, Black Widow. You know, I didn't, you don't talk about Black, her Black Widow's almost dying, like half the time, and Cap always has to rush in and save her. Yeah, she she was unfortunately. I don't really think she was like what's her name, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, she played. She played. Good. I thought she played. Yeah, I yeah. She did I especially kind of unnecessary. She's like eye candy, and they don't even. You know, well, there's the whole part. Some, uh, there's the whole part when she's talking to Loki when Loki's like in the cage and she's trying to get like she. It seems like she's trying to save Clint Barton. It is Hawkeye. true. That that scene's that scene was pretty good. Yeah, that was a great scene. Yeah, especially especially Loki in that scene. How he's just like. Pretty much, he's yeah. doing the superhero. He's doing the super villain type thing where he's like telling you his plan is like, "I'm gonna stick it to you, stupid humans, and you're gonna yeah. rue the day." I don't know. I mean, it was a, it was an alright scene, but it wasn't. It was funny as hell though when she got recruited scene. though when she's in the interrogation. In the, like, oh, when we initially yeah, meet her, yeah, yeah, that was funny as hell. He's like, yeah. I'm like a little busy right now. I'm in an interrogation right now, and the guys think they're in control, but yeah, really. Yeah. She, they're giving me everything that I want, <laughs> and they're like looking at each other. Yeah, there's a lot of good callback like uh, type things. Like there's the thing where Cap was talking to Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson. He's like, "I don't think you're really going to surprise me, really." And then Nick Fury's like, "Bet some ten dollars or whatever." And then later in the movie, Cap just pulls out a ten and gives it to Nick Fury. Yeah, there's and that, a lot, there's a lot of little jokes in this movie. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of really good jokes too. And and like I'd say they're really good jokes, but they're well, fun. they're they're really the follow through on. Them I would is say good. I would say laughs. they're good jokes. They're, they're not. What, what makes them not good to you? I think they're awesome. No, they're fun. I'm not saying they're not funny. They're funny, but they're not good jokes. I mean, it's not like anything to them. It's just like ah, you made me mad, and I'm gonna smack you now. <laughs> it's like slapstick, you know. Well, no, there was a couple slapstick with the Hulk, but like when like uh. 
Captain America shows up and he's telling the cops what to do. And the cops like, why should I listen to you? And then he just beats everyone up. And then the cop just turns around and tells yeah. everyone what they're doing. I don't know. I feel like those are very formulaic jokes that are like done in movies all the time. But yeah. I mean, I'm not saying they're not funny. Let's let's. Don't. What are you saying though? I'm just saying they're not like inventive, creative jokes. I think they were. I think they're good. I didn't think. Well, but jokes aren't really that inventive, really. I'm it's never, an all I'm in how you. All, all in how you. A joke is about delivery. And and it was delivered yeah, perfectly. Yeah, it was delivered perfectly. All right, maybe I'm alone here, but I'm like, not changing you're my totally opinion. The dialogue is one. like snappy and like real, really, like you know, there's a good pace to it. Especially in the scene when they're all like talking about what Shield was doing with the Cosmic Cube. Yeah, and like trying to make weapons out of it, and they're all arguing, and then like Thor will pop in with like a a, a like a good one liner. Yeah. And then Banner will get all angry, and people are like, "Calm down, Bruce. Put put the sword down, Bruce." Bruce Banner, you got nothing like for what? I don't know. So I really enjoyed it, though. Yeah, it, did it seem long to any of you guys? Or no, not at all. Not really. I mean, I knew it was two and a half hours, but yeah. I didn't feel long at all. I it felt really packed. Like that, that. This is not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but it definitely felt packed with things. Because I mean, there's the storylines with pretty much like six different Avengers or whatever it was, and then there's also the Agent Coulson storyline, and then there's the Samuel Jackson storyline, and then the Loki Thor storyline in there. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't feel it was like like overly stuffed with like yeah information like storylines. Like it, I didn't. I honestly, I didn't see like any of the movies. I saw Iron Man. Two, yeah, yeah, see, all right. yeah. So you saw one of the, <laughs> and uh, like it, it was fine. I didn't have any problems. Obviously, it's like it's it's like bad guy, good guys. We're gonna, yeah, win. and like those characters, they're so ingrained in like popular culture. Yeah, you right know now. who they are already. Yeah. Like you, you know, know, you know. The like, only thing, the only thing, Tony pr- Stark. We know who he is. We know yeah. Captain. Yeah, Marcus. the only two that like people probably wouldn't know is uh, Black Widow and Hawkeye. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they they weren't even huge in the movie, really. Yeah, uh, Hawkeye kind of. Oh, they was. were. They were. Big parts of the movie, but I just like, feel like I feel like they picked the wrong people for that movie. They shouldn't have done Black Widow and Hawkeye. They should have went with the original Avengers lineup. Have it Ant Man and Wasp. I'm you know like, the thing is, like you cool. hear Ant Man and you're like, that is just not a good superhero name. Ant Man, Giant Man, Ant Man slash Giant Man. Does that make it better? Gi- uh, no. No, Doesn't make it better. Either. He can go really small, and then he can also be really big and just crush things with his boots and stuff. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's just like you, you had those superheroes, and it's like, oh, these guys seem really super. And then, like, those two just seem like regular guys. Regular people who just do things pretty well. Well, when, uh, when the, there were a couple of good fight scenes with, like, uh, Black Widow just, like, kind of kicking yeah, butt yeah. a little bit, climbing all over people. Yeah. Like rolling all over the place, like that one scene where she's being interrogated in the chair and she's just beating everybody yeah. up while yeah. she's wow. still yeah. tied to the chair. chair. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty cool. That was a good scene. Like all the action was shot really well, mm. which that was the thing. Like a lot of it times is. in action movies, it's always like the quick cutting and stuff. But in this one, we actually got to like follow people as like <clears throat> Iron Man's like like going weaving in and out of buildings in the streets and like there's all these guys fighting. Like it was actually good. Like you could see the what was happening. A, a big budget. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could definitely tell they spent tons of money, but also they filmed a lot of stuff on the helicarrier, though, which was awesome when that thing like came out of the water. Yeah, that was cool. That was pretty cool. Did you like that? Yes, I thought I thought it was a submarine or something, and then it turns out it and it turns out air. it's floating in the air. That's even worse, though. Why? Why? the Bruce Banner? Why? He didn't say it was worse. Yeah, he did. He says, so, I mean, you're going to put it, put me in a submarine. Yeah, yeah. And but, he's like, oh, now I'm going up in the sky. That's even worse. Really? He's afraid uh, of heights. Everyone knows that. Don't yeah. you read the comic? No, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. God. Psh, hack. I definitely liked, I like at the beginning how they go around recruiting people. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Well, they they didn't really. I it mean, wasn't not it wasn't really a recruiting thing. Yeah. But, well, I like how they got everyone together. And then Tony Stark just kind of shows up guy's an asshole it's definitely a tony thing to do yeah the best line though is when tony stark walks in and he's looking around and stuff and he's like and this guy's playing galaga over here oh, so yeah. I, am i the only <laughs> one who saw it 
And then, like, they cut back to him later, and the guy brings up Galaga, and it's actual Galaga with like the music, and he does it real quick. Like, there's a there's a there's a war going on, and like this guy's playing Galaga. Well, yeah, it's on downtime, you know. Well, you know, that's how they form battle plans for outer space battle with Galaga. Galaga. That's pretty much what it was. That hole in the sky where like the uh, the aliens were coming through was just looked like space. It was space. Oh, it was like another faraway galaxy yeah. or something? Oh, I thought it was like another dimension. No, no, it's just that further in space. Oh. So did you think it was funny, the part where when Loki and the Hulk are there, and he's like, I am a, uh, a god, and he just takes him and just oh, whips him that, on the floor? That was, <laughs> that was you hilarious. Like, Come on, you, you, had, to funny, think, yeah. you had to yeah. think that was funny. It How could funny, you not? But... How could you not think he, that was great? Especially because he keeps doing it. Yeah, he's just like, like whipping him back, back and, forth and forth like he's nothing. Yeah. How could you not think that was funny? Puny no, God. I think they're funny, but yeah. um, it's just the jokes just are like the way they're the outside of the story. It's just like it doesn't flow into what's going on. It's I, just I like, disagree. All right, in this scene, we're just going to add this little tidbit in for Except a quick, the, the a only quick thing, laugh. The only thing I'll agree with you that there's the one thing where Thor and, and Hulk take down this big, that big like uh, snake thing. And then, like, they're just standing there, and they're kind of, like, huffing and puffing, and then Hulk just punches Yeah, what, I, don't, I don't understand just that. Just out of the screen. I don't know. He's Hulk. He's just... He just likes to hit That's things. why he's sort of out of character, because they're, like, helping one another, and then Hulk just, like, it's like, whatever, bam, and punches him. Yeah. But it is nice that Hulk ends up saving uh, Tony. That was I, pretty good. I'm confused with the uh, Hulk is, like, I don't know when how he controls his hulk powers to different degrees at different times like when he's on the ship and he gets mad he's fighting his own friends just because he's so pissed off well and like then well when he's in working that scene with them, he, he in just, that scene the, his the thing he's more upset about is that they're sort of like caging him the shield people and he feels like that black widow is like lying to him so that's why that's what made him angry really it's uh. so like he at certain points he gets more angry than normal like he even says like how does he control he's like i'm angry all the time that's my secret so it's just he has varying degrees of how angry he is right i don't know i think it's good yeah definitely definitely one of the better hulks and he's actually signed for six movies so six movies yeah he'll appear in six movies so like avengers 2 probably another hulk movie wow who knows? It's a lot of movies. Too many there might movies. be a Shield movie. Well, no, they just have them under contract. Shield bro. movie. Yeah, is that, it the Avengers Shield? No, they're different organizations. I mean, that's the point at the end of the movie that Nick Fury makes is that these guys are not controlled by Shield, and that's why that like Shadow Council people are yeah. all like, What's well, going yeah. But on? what does Shield do besides make the Avengers? Shield, Shield protects the world from threats. Yeah, but what would a movie about them would be them protecting the world from threats? I mean, like yeah, it would be a lot of spy stuff because like Nick Fury is the spy master, so it'd be a lot like spy stuff, like breaking into like so would Nick Fury wouldn't they government organizations? They wouldn't throw in additional like superheroes or anything. It would just be Nick Fury going and doing spy stuff. Yeah, I mean they they could they could find other superheroes. There's there's a great many superheroes they can get. I guess. So like when they cut yeah. back to like the when they talk to the shield and they like those guys on the board. Do you know who those guys are? No, I didn't really know who those were. No, I I think they're like from the comics something, but I'm not really sure who they were. The so is the shield just board the, of advisors like on the uh, Earth planet Earth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shield is, I think it's a United States like it's real. organization that does it. Because in the Marvel Universe, is also another agency, S.W.O.R.D., which takes care of, like, extraterrestrial threats on the planet. So the S.H.I.E.L.D. and S.W.O.R.D.? Yeah, and that, well, the, there are many different organizations Why, within what else the Marvel is there? Universe. Uh, there's, one, there's one organization who's in charge of cleaning up uh, after superheroes fight. I forget the, the name janitors. of that one so they they're the, kind of like that they have the thing that clears your memory like the men in black <laughs> yeah they're kind of like the men in black pretty much no they're more the janitors yeah yeah i i forget what they're called but they were created by Dwayne mcduffie who died wow. recently and then you could apply to that yeah would you the, would you clean the mib offices no would be are you do you know how dirty those offices are alien goo everywhere not doing that 
All the aliens just leave a trail of slime. <laughs> yeah. They oh, go. yeah. Snail trail. Snail trail. All right. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they. there's a lot of organizations, is what I'm saying. So, yeah. did you think of the part when Loki and Tony are in this room? He's like, all right, do you want a drink? And he's like, nah. And then he goes, what will your friends think of this? And he pokes him in the chest. And he goes, ah. This usually works. Yeah, and then he like keeps poking yeah. it. That did you think that? I mean, did you think that wasn't funny? I don't know. I, I, see, I, I don't. Know, this was I don't happen. I knew he, this was he's, gonna, he's, No, he's just saying I don't the jokes understand. were too easy. They're not. Right? Then, they're, yeah. not they're not. They're not like they it don't. Just seems like they don't surprise you. They're just like how was that? Not, how were you not surprised? And you that just seem like almost uncharacteristic for the villain part of it where he's like oh well this usually works you know and like the whole i i disagree on that i I don't know i i i I do want to see the thor movie because just so i can get a better feel for who this loki is is. loki's pretty and loki is my favorite part about thor really yeah because his storyline with his father and brother and stuff is really interesting like that's that's the best part about thor that whole universe is like almost in every superhero comic there's a a core idea to every character so like iron man the core idea is like uh like his uh his excesses you know because like he's he's a drunk all this time and he's like super smart but he always Lives drunk? too fast. Thor, Thor is a drunk. No, Iron Man. <laughs> oh, Iron, Iron Man. Man's Sorry. Because in the second Iron Man, he's like flying around drunk and stuff, and then like War Machine pops in and is like, "No, Tony, you can't be doing this. You're drunk." <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then they like had War Machine, and Thor movie. is always about family because it's always about like Odin and how he deals with so his you, sons and brothers. So and you stuff. haven't seen Thor though, right? No. So do you think we like we missed because like I haven't seen Thor either, but I've seen all the other movies. No, no, you just miss certain backgrounds of why Loki is the way he is right now. Oh, like, see, I, I feel like I, I feel like I missed it, so I'm, I'm really upset now that I didn't see it. Yeah, and then like oh, you can still see. It. I mean, it's Captain America too at your local like DVD store. Yeah. I own it. I let him borrow it, and he didn't yeah, it. he let me borrow it. And I just never got to it. You have to <laughs> let me borrow it again. Wow. Yeah. So I don't know. What would you give it for a rating? Uh, oh wow! And this, you know, it's it's tough on this one. I, I feel see, like I can see what it's gonna be. Like, I have a like prediction. It, it, you're getting it, a two part, yeah. two part yeah. rating. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's, it's what rating. I feel, but this is what I should think it should be. <laughs> it's really hard what they did, like getting all those characters in the same movie and making it work. But it also feels like they they didn't really stretch it really at all they they did what they could do and they didn't really like push it actually before you give us a levels. score though before the chick from how i met your mother do you think she was a good yeah she was good maria hill yeah i, I liked her you did yeah mm, all right why did you did, i don't what think, do you think her about? role was really that important no it wasn't at all. well she's uh she's second like in command of shield yeah pretty to much nick. she's what like a secretary to terry to nick but uh in a lot of ways, yeah. And like when I saw Iron Man, it looked like uh, Scarlett Johansson was kind of like his secretary in that movie. Well, in that little bit, she was kind of like in charge of the operation dealing with Tony Stark yeah. in that episode. And in this one, she's not she's not responsible for that. She's responsible for the they Hulk. They could have had her be his secretary and eliminate that role. I don't know. No, that's, Maria that's, Hill that's is important to later on in the comics. Really, she, she uh, is. Yeah. She she takes over Shield actually a couple times. Spoiler. No, Spoiler. That, it doesn't. That doesn't mean she is gonna take over Shield because Spoiler. actually Tony Stark Spoiler. takes over Shield eventually too. He does. Yeah, during that the fucking asshole. Dur- it's pretty much almost. He's the reason why like Civil War got as bad as it did between Cap and like Iron Man. I liked how uh, Tony Stark and uh, the Hulk. Seem to like resonate really well. They seem to become better friends than uh, oh, the other yeah, guys. Yeah, because they bonded over like science and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they did a good job of like like creating friendships between them all. Like even though they they're kind of they fight and stuff, but they're still they're still friends. Like, like a family. They are like a family. A dysfunctional family. That's what Stan Lee was talking about. Family. They should do like a real world with uh, superheroes. <laughs> Hulk smash. Hulk, did you drink all the milk again? I like I like the one when, when um, Iron Man and Thor and Loki. No, 
when they first Captain met America. Yeah. Oh yeah. And when he hits his shield with the shit. Oh everything. yeah, that was like, awesome. All right, we done here. <sighs> yeah. I I like yeah because Cap is definitely that's why I'm saying he's the heart and soul because he like gets them to stop fighting for no reason. He's like, why are we doing this? We need to focus on what the real problem yeah, he's is. He's like right Cyclops now. of the X Men. He kind of looks like him too. No, Cyclops. Nobody likes him. Everyone's <laughs> like, shut up, Scott. <laughs> nobody cares what you want. God, now we gotta listen to Scott complain about things. No, 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 no. That, I'm not talking. All right, in in any X Men movie, they no, made Scott's they've ruined, always they've ruined Cyclops. But like everybody wants Jean Grey and uh, and Logan. They don't want Scott and Jean. Nobody nobody buys that. Why not? Because uh, Scott's. Cause, I liked uh, I liked Cyclops Scott's back in, in the old like cartoon and stuff. Yeah, he's definitely better in the cartoon. Like he seem like he seems like a leader, like a of someone you would follow. He, Whereas kinda, as in the movies, it's like I'm not I don't want to follow this douchebag. This kind of bag. a yes man to uh yeah, Professor he's like a, X. He's though, like a company a man. You yeah. Know? He is. But yeah, no, I, I like Psychops, but he's a, he's okay. He's not as cool as like other X Men. Not right. as cool as Nightcrawler. Now Crawler. you say though, you say Captain America is like the you know, brings everyone together, but didn't he start a fight with someone? He started a fight with Iron Man. A was it bit. Iron Man? Yeah, they kind of. Oh, they, they were going like, at it a little bit. What are you without that suit? Well, I'm a you know a philanthropist, a million genius, billion. billionaire, <laughs> playboy philanthropist, yeah. and I like how Black Widow is it's, like. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's kind of good. Iron Man is a hundred percent right because Iron Man worked and everything he has, like he had, he achieved, right? And like, what's his name? Just get, was part of some science experiment and like. No, yeah, but. Tony also grew up with Howard Stark's millions of dollars and stuff. So oh, really? It's yeah. like he's a spoiled rich kid whose father never spent time with him. All right. So who's who's the better superhero though? Who who, who worked harder? Oh, definitely Captain America. Captain America. Definitely, yeah. you say definitely Captain America. Did you, did you guys see Captain America? No, he's I didn't a see skinny, the movie. He's a skinny kid. Yeah, but he's always chuck fighting. Him in a tube he'll never and he back comes down. Out ripped or something. Yeah. Well, well, he yeah. didn't like even work yeah. out ever. I mean, <laughs> no, no, but like they show him in like basic training and stuff. He's got he's got the heart because there's this one scene where like the general played by Tommy Lee Jones is all like, all this is in Captain America is all like, ah, oh, this guy's a weakling. Why is he on my army base? And he takes a grenade and he just throws it on the ground and everyone steps away, but Captain America jumps straight on it and like tells everyone to get away <laughs> yeah because he thinks it's a live grenade so he's like i uh, he's like selfless and like that he'll protect people he's like a real hero you know yeah. he's willing to sacrifice he's his the life last to protect real people. hero sandy it's the last real hero he's old-fashioned and sometimes we his need to be reminded stripes, aren't they a little oh. outdated no because we're still in america I don't know. I I, I do. We I didn't mean, change the flag. Yet. Like they did change his suit, but it still looked pretty outdated. I thought it looked okay. I you think know, they should have had the circle. Of, like <laughs> I think they could have modernized it a little bit more. It, the the, the color stripes. just seemed a little faded on it. Yeah, I don't know. maybe that's why it wasn't as vibrant yeah. as like like because because Tony Stark has like the reflective like armor and stuff, and then like he's just in there in like a blue leotard <laughs> basically yeah it's just like i feel like it's a, a musical he's about yeah, to do like a musical do a little uh tap shoe all right so back to who has the best uniform i would say iron man i don't know the hulk because he's naked Loki's <laughs> <laughs> yeah he shows up naked i <laughs> know i like that that uh, that was funny with the, the janitor there the janitor part naked. was funny yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, you uh, showed up naked, so I waited. This guy, you an alien or something? <laughs> that was funny. I did like Stanley's cameo at the end. St- so. Stanley's cameo was great. Yeah, <laughs> he's like turns around. He's like playing chess in the park yeah. or something. I'm an old guy. <laughs> hey, I'm that old guy that plays chess. Superheroes in, the park. <laughs> in New York. Who would have thought of Ooh, such a thing? Lot. That's truly superhuman. I, I did like at the end of the movie though that they did they had the Avengers Tower set up in the middle of New York and stuff. Which is that cool. a tower for the Avengers? Yeah. Is that what the A is? Yeah, that's what the A stands for. Kind of got that. Yeah. I did. I like that, though. That was cool. That was cool? It used yeah. to say stuck, you know, and then all the letters oh, fell off. Oh, I, it did. I didn't see it. I, thought I they had no made, idea. I, I thought it said pops, I thought, actually. I, I, thought, <laughs> I thought maybe they rebuilt the tower. Yeah, I thought they rebuilt the like, tower. Just to change the A. Just to change it to an A. 
but uh, no. So are they gonna are they gonna make another Avengers? Oh, they definitely. This movie did gangbusters. It, they like broke the record for biggest Gang opening bu- weekends. Who says gangbusters? Gangbusters. You what did it do? Before? Do you know what it did? Uh, Steve just told me it did two hundred million this weekend domestically. You believe him? That seems yeah. low, doesn't it? No, what? Do you know what the record did? One hundred fifty-one million. Harry Potter what? Seven Part Two. The appall in this voice. Yeah. No, two hundred million in one opening weekend is huge. So, like, also with the international receipts, it could be grossing almost up to five hundred for just in a week. So this is this is one of the biggest movies of all time. Which mm-hmm. I could have got some stock in that, huh? Yeah, buy Disney stock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But my question is, so we did this, so there's a scene at the end with the guy who shows up the, at the end who you guys, no one really knew because he's, he's Thanos. Red he's Hulk. like, Yeah, he looks Red like Hulk. Red Hulk. So Thanos like is Red like Hulk. a, he's like almost like a cosmic Hitler to a degree. So. Cosmic Hitler. So, they should have just called him that. Yeah, or does it just look like Hitler? Does he have the Hitler stash? No, he doesn't. Um, that would have been good in the Captain America comic. What? Hitler? Cosmic Hitler. Oh, yeah. Mm. I think yeah. they had that. Did they? I don't know. Yeah, they did. But yeah, so do you think, like, how are they going to do a sequel to the Avengers? We already got all these guys They've facing already a avenged huge, everything. huge alien threat. So how how can we, like, up the stakes, really? Because uh, they faced Annihilation once. What, are we just going to face Annihilation again? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, so. we are. That's... I mean, isn't that it how It works. They, Every that, action movie ever. Isn't that how they do it in the comics? What? Well, I don't know. The Avengers, Avengers is always weird because it's tough to get like a villain big enough to get all the Avengers together. Yeah, I think the next one they're just gonna work on uh, personal issues. You know, it'll be like a yeah. probably like a, a relationship builder or like a a romance. They're drama. gonna they're gonna throw in some new Avengers. No maybe. Action. Do you guys do you guys got any Avengers that you want in the the sequel? Mm. Any, anybody you can think of mm. basically you could say any Marvel character because everyone's been an Avengers Batman? except for the X-Men like a Batman in there no Superman. shut up oh my god your lack of decorum Superman. when the Green Lantern the Green Lantern the Green he's in Goblin. space right yeah they're connected right. yeah well for me I want Black Panther in the next one Black, that's what Black I, that's Panther. All I'm pushing for yeah how about um, they could do uh, Power Girl? That's DC again. You're killing me. <laughs> you are literally could they get Pete, uh, Spider-Man? Uh, no, because Sony Played has rights Kate to Upton. Spider-Man. How's that? So they couldn't uh, do so, that. But they could do it because it's under Marvel, though. That's all I was wanting. They, yes, Spider-Man's a Marvel character. So was, if, they ever ever? Get, if they ever get the, the rights back to Spider-Man, they, yes, Spider-Man could show up with yes, the Wonder Twins. Spider-Man. No, that's DC again. You're killing me. That's God. The Wonder Twins. <laughs> the All right, so let's give our predict, uh, scores. Yeah. All right. So I'm going with... On a scale of seven. Patented. I'm going with a six. I felt there's a little too much action and not enough. Yeah, well, there was enough character. Banging. I don't no know. sex scene. No they, romance. They weren't together long enough, the Avengers, which is, I guess, which can be a plus of the next one if they, when they do the next one, is we'll get more just the Avengers type things. So, yeah, 6-5. Six, 6-5? Five. Six, five? Yeah. All right. What do you give it, Cindy? Seven. I'll, uh, hold on, come back to me. I might sneeze. All right. I'm going to give it 7. 7, you're going 7? Yeah, I yeah. really, really, really liked it. Oh, and uh, you're totally right. I saw it in 3D. You guys didn't, right? No. no. We actually saw the 2D, which was, it was good. I haven't seen a 3D movie in like forever. Yeah, and you are totally right. It is dark. Yeah, there there's a lot of dark scenes in this one too, mm-hmm. like at night and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I can't imagine what those look like. Yeah, with dark I, glasses. I don't. I don't think I'll definitely try not to yeah. ever see another 3D movie. Was the 3D any? Was there any cool parts to it? Not or? really. Like there the, was one scene that I that some I forget who it was. Someone was pointing a gun like at the yeah 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 that was on um, that was Hawk and not Hawkeye what's the girl it? yeah the girl with Scarlett Johansson or was it Scarlett Johansson yeah Black when Marvel? it was the Hulk when the Hulk went, went nuts oh yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah, yeah. And th- or when yeah, Agent Coulson had a gun it looked like it, uh, that, that did that didn't that wasn't no 3D at no. that point I was like. Yeah, 3D would be good for that. It's not that great. Like it's very. It, they didn't yeah. like exploit it. There's like a few scenes here yeah. and there. Well, like, they didn't one, shoot it. They didn't shoot it for 3D. They didn't. It's post converted. Because there's like one point the railing, the railing where around that guy Loki's cage. Yeah. Was popping out. And I'm like, well, you know, 
I don't give a shit about the railing. What about the huge, that fucking railing? What no, about the like huge could, alien worms? They, were those 3D at all? I don't sometimes, sometimes, they sometimes they were. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they were and sometimes they weren't. Yeah. yeah. See, that's the problem. You got to be consistent in how you use it. It wasn't 3D. like it was. It wasn't done great in 3D. Yeah. But I would definitely probably won't. However, though, Lux level was excellent. Did you get, uh, the, you did you enjoyed, get a brew up there? Enjoyed eating that food. I drink. Did you, ce- did you celebrate Cinco yeah. de Mayo up there? Yeah, I did. They actually have a list of drinks based on the movie, so I drank a Captain America. Are you shitting me? No. <laughs> you drank a what? Captain America. I had a Captain America. They oh. do that for every movie or just I this I think one? so. I don't oh, know. Or I'm it could just be for the it Avengers. Could, it, could be, it could be just for this one, but they had a, a special movie. list for it. And yeah, maybe for all big titles coming out. Uh, so a Batman. Yeah, Batman. I'm, I guarantee there's probably... There's going to be a Catwoman. I'd like yeah. me to drink some Catwoman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I had a tonight. Captain America, Hulk, and Hawkeye. And then Is, I had a Was Manhattan. the Hulk green? Yes, the, the Hulk green. Because it green. takes place in Manhattan. They right? the, yeah. <laughs> oh! It's tied in. See, you didn't catch that one. I had the uh, I had the Captain America was blue and the Hawkeye was red. Hawkeye was red. I don't. Mm. I don't it should be purple. It wasn't. It didn't, you know, maybe, maybe Hawkeye has a purple costume. I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, what liquor is a purple though? I thought it was black. <laughs> it was black in the movie because you can't have him walking around in a purple <laughs> costume with like the crazy like like uh, eye things. Like his mask is like. Oh yeah, it's like the uh, cat eye glasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, just, yeah. So what's your score? Uh, I'll do it 6.5. Six, 6.5. Five. Six, five. Oh, so glowing reviews, glowing reviews for Marvel over here. Mm. Yep. All right. Yes, indeed. Any closing thoughts? Uh, I want a Black Panther movie. That's all I'm saying. But I'm thinking they might do a Nova movie eventually. Nova? Yeah. He's he's like a, he's kind of like Green Lantern. He's like a space cop. You don't have a Black Panther movie already? No. I don't. Be about about. They have Black Snake Moan. Yes. Samuel Jackson is in that. <laughs> He's in that too. So. No. All right. All right. Comic yeah. book of the week? Uh, comic book pick of the week is going to be. Well, since we did do Avengers. No, I didn't read Avengers. Uh, I you can if you try to read Avengers currently, it's gonna be a mess. There's so many different Avenger books. But uh, comic Ooh. pick of the week. What did I read? I don't even remember what I read. I don't read up. I I Just can't remember one. what was last week and this week. Oh, I read uh, Teen Titans Annual Number One this week, which I actually liked a lot. Which is all about like the Teen Titans currently now, and whoa, whoa, whoa. it's pretty good. Well, the Teen Titan comic book is about the Teen Titans. Are yeah. you shitting me? I know. Well, it's Who also it's yet? also a crossover with Legion Loss, which is they're from the future and they're stuck in our current past right now. And then they had some they had some cool characters. Wild. Too. It was wild and crazy. All right, that's comic kids. book of the week. <laughs> All right, any closing thoughts from you, Sandy? No, I just want you to uh, go to our YouTube page, oh, which is YouTube slash Attic Podcast, and uh, YouTube dot com slash. Yeah, I, I apologize. Obviously, the website. You probably Attic listen podcast, to us on yeah. the website. Uh, Twitter, right? We got a yep, Twitter. Yep, yep at Attic it. Podcast. Danny's doing that. a lot with that Twitter account. Yeah, we get a lot of a lot of tweets from yeah. that. Right, you, you probably all are on the book of faces yep we have a site on there also check us out check it facebook.com slash attic podcast yes all right thank you very much yeah oh what no something else no no no, no? no good you go ahead i'm good I'm leave good. comments leave comments for god's sakes rate us on itunes yeah yeah oh definitely rate us and review us on itunes that really helps us spread the word and spread the word to your friends kids Spread the word. Spread if you want to, if if you like want to hear a podcast about Game of Thrones and Legend of Korra, there's not too many out there, so you know, listen. Especially if you're a Young Justice fan too. I, if anybody has a Young Justice podcast, tell me about it because I want to listen to that. I have one. Actually. Oh, do you? you no, oh. no, I had no idea. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you after the show. Let's All go right. let's do All lunch. Right. We'll do lunch. We'll do lunch. Ciao.